Thank you for choosing UCSF for your health care. I'm Dr. Alan Zhang, one of the sports medicine specialists in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. In my practice, I commonly treat injuries of the hip, knee, and shoulder, and if surgery is needed, I perform minimally invasive procedures, also known as arthroscopy. In the following segment, our athletic trainers will demonstrate post-operative exercises as well as provide standard information for my patients undergoing hip arthroscopy. We hope you have a speedy recovery. Thank you. In this video, the content will include information on medications, DMV, physical therapy, preoperative instructions, and postoperative instructions. Medications. Please fill your medication prescriptions prior to surgery. Narcotic medications will be a paper prescription that you physically must take into a pharmacy and non-narcotic medications will be e-prescribed to your pharmacy. Check your after visit summary for the location of your e-prescribed prescriptions. Physical therapy. Contact a physical therapist prior to your surgery to get an appointment scheduled. You want to begin physical therapy approximately 7 to 10 days following your surgery. You will receive a physical therapy prescription at your pre-operative appointment or at your first post-operative appointment. If you receive the DMV form at your pre-operative visit, please complete this form and take the form to your nearest DMV location. Do not mail this in as it takes a few weeks to process. Antibacterial body wash. If you receive the packet of Hibiclens at your preoperative visit, remember to use it the night before or the morning of your surgery. Wash your entire body with the soap and rinse off. Do not use it on your face, hair, or genital area as it may cause dry skin. If you do not have a preoperative visit, you can purchase Hibiclens or antibacterial dial from a pharmacy. Food and water. Do not eat any food or drink any fluids including water, after 12 a.m. the night prior to your surgery. Patients who do not follow this may experience a delayed or even canceled surgery. MyChart. If you have not already signed up for your UCSF MyChart, please refer to the back of your after visit summary, also known as your AVS, to register. This is an online portal that will enable you to access some of your medical records, request prescription refills, check appointment times, and most importantly, it allows you to send and receive messages from your treating physician or surgeon. Following surgery, begin taking the medication as prescribed by your surgeon. Bathing. You may sponge bath following your surgery. You can also carefully shower using a handheld shower head, but be very careful that you do not get your surgical dressings wet as this may increase the risk of post-operative infection. Do not swim in a pool or the ocean until instructed by your surgeon. Driving. Do not drive until you're instructed to do so by your surgeon and you have discontinued the narcotic pain medication. You will not be cleared to drive for six weeks if you are having surgery on your right leg. Surgical dressings. Make sure to keep the dressing on the surgical site until your first post-operative visit usually about five to nine days after your surgery. Do not remove the dressing or put ointment on your incision as this may increase the risk of post-operative infection. Post-operative exercises will begin on post-op day one. Perform these exercises three times per day until physical therapy begins. Please call the office if you have any of the following. Fever greater than 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.5 degrees Celsius. Continuing drainage from the wound or dressing. Pain in the calf or lower extremity. Unrelenting pain. Excessive nausea, vomiting due to pain medication or any other worrisome conditions. If you have questions, feel free to call 415-353. 7566 or your surgeon's practice assistant Monday to Friday 8 to 5 p.m. For assistance after hours or weekends, call the office at 415-353-7566 and the answering service will assist you.
If you have any questions, please contact our office at 415-353-7566. Thank you for choosing UCSF Medical Center.